So for the last 20 years, there's been huge discussions across different areas of science and technology, all related to the simple atom of carbon. So what we're looking at now is setting the stage so that in 2025, people look back and say, wow, it was 2015 when the pieces really started to come together at NC State that have resulted in North Carolina being the leader in organic electronic materials and devices throughout the world. Well, carbon electronics is semiconductor materials made with organic compounds. Even though it's only carbon, you can make many, many different molecules, many, many different things. And it's up to the imagination of the scientists to create new materials. That's what is exciting about this field. So what we're talking about here is taking carbon, which is beyond abundant, and doing something with it that's transformational. These are very complicated materials. They have a lot of disorder. It requires a lot of people's work looking at them from different angles and different tools in order to understand them. We have five positions here at NC State in order to invest into carbon electronics. The ROI grant will greatly leverage that. Having a team of material scientists, chemists, physicists, and engineers who are all working together and who all at different times may appear to be one or other discipline is really the key to success. So when we were looking to bring in a senior leader who could really advance uh, the presence of material science and engineering at NC State as part of this bigger initiative that the ROI represents, uh, someone like Frankie So was just a natural fit. I've been one of the pioneers um, working in this field um, since uh, the early 90s. The research I've been doing is mainly on carbon electronics, and I have 70, 80 patents um, in this, in this uh, field. He's going to use the ROI money to get some new capabilities installed here at NC State, and then he's going to arrive bringing truckloads of equipment as well that will integrate in with the equipment the ROI grant bought, and he'll be bringing about 10 or 12 people at least who are going to be able to walk in the door and start using that equipment right away. You know, we didn't just bring in a queen bee, we're bringing in a whole hive. It's a very good time to be pushing the envelope and getting into the game heavily because we know there are many different technological applications, yet there's still so much research and technology development to be done. So the ROI grant plays a key role in all this in the beginning, right? There's that old saying that, you know, the mighty oak starts from a small seed. So in many ways, the ROI grant uh, is not the seed, but it's actually providing the water and the soil and the fertilizer so that the seeds that we have here today and the seeds we bring in like Frankie So can really prosper and grow into a forest of mighty oaks.